hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video we will see one fantastic open source software and that is actually used for project management issues management and there are so many things that you can use for that and the name is open project okay so we'll see that software how we can actually install and how we can configure and basically we'll browse all the features of that open source software okay so before i start if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel and this appreciate me to create more videos and find out more this information for you okay so subscribe it's very simple go to youtube.com slash vfx pipeline and you see this channel here and since you are watching my video definitely you are on my channel right now so you just hit that subscribe button and you will be in our vfx pipeline family okay so today's topic what we are talking about is open project so i mean uh, let me just share my thing how i can come to this uh, software uh, and recently i uh, i was looking for one of the software open source and free software to manage some of my development work and in the development work my main requirement was to make a agile and scrum based workflow where we can create tickets uh, we can create issues and assign those issues to developers and then the, their developers they key in the time uh, whatever time is spent on their uh, issues or maybe a bug or feature or whatever okay so the thing is at the end of the day we need to generate a report or maybe just see a uh, overall picture of where we are in the development phase so i found uh, currently we are using redmine for that and redmine is pretty good software actually but still there are few things related to customization and also like information wise there are few things which is not uh, we are not getting those things so uh then i have explored few more softwares like similar to redmine and i come up with this open project and after when i see some of the feature of this open open project and uh, i feel like this is good uh, i can use this in my workflow in my software development workflow but this software is not just restricted to that because you can configure for any purpose this software okay so let's just see first uh, if, if you want to uh, uh, see this software or download this software you can go to the website which is openproject.org and you can find the link in the description of this video okay so uh, first thing is just see in their website what they mention you can actually have a Gantt chart view of all the issues okay as you can see here then work packages and work packages is basically a a task or maybe a issues or a identity inside your project what you are creating it's like a content of your project you can you can say that that include the status type priority who assigned to uh, start date end date finish date uh, the progress completion we'll see this live once we install that okay then this is the interesting feature which i was looking for agile and scrum so here we can actually see a kind of a kanban view where we can uh, move the tickets or issues from around uh, with that it, you can easily change the status of the issues okay so and then you can actually generate some burnout charts and also you can see that overall how many hours you spend and how many hours like where are you on that so basically it's complete backlog you backlog you can see okay then there is some additional feature which is not important for me but since they are here it's very good we can actually estimate the time and cost within this software which is we will explore how we can use that and obviously there is a wiki and also uh, there are things related to like you can attach documentations and all but this is just few highlights of this software but 
inside that software there are many many other things which i already use this software just uh, today and that's why i decided to share this with you guys so you guys also can use this software and i read hardly found some really good video tutorials for this open project uh, software so that's why i decided to make it full in-depth tutorial for that so you guys can start from very basic to configure in your local environment right now i'm using windows and i will install this in windows basically this software if you want to install in linux is very easy but if you are using windows uh, like me then you need to go through some tricky process which i will show you here right now and also i will show you how you can install in linux okay so let's start first we'll see uh like feature we will see once we will install that first let's just jump directly to i mean let's just go to the pricing first so open project is actually a in, there is a community edition which is open source and free edition and that is free forever as they promise they mention here we promise okay now only thing is uh, there are some less features uh and also you need to install by yourself and others you you have to pay to get the enterprise level features so since we decided to install by ourselves let's just go click here install by yourself once you click there you will see the installation and it will ask for your linux distribution for example like centos and uh, debian ubuntu whatever i have centos in my other virtual in uh, virtual machine but uh, i will install in windows this one so as you can see that for centos you need to just add a repository which is a open project repo and after that you just need to use yum command yum install open project and that will install in the centos but if you want to install in windows then you need to go to a web stack guy the name is bitnami and they are actually create lot of web stacks and what is web stack i will show you once we will jump to their website <clears throat> so let's just go to bitnami and even in their q a they mention for windows uh yes why you don't support windows and they say that ruby support on window is very difficult i mean yes so uh, but you can un use unofficial windows stack provided by bitnami so let's just open this so this will take us to the bitnami website and in the bitnami you here you can see this is actually a stack installer uh, which actually a uh, i mean all the required the library or softwares uh, they bundle into one single application and you can run with that okay maybe uh, I, this part I cannot explain because maybe if you know you can just comment in, in below what exactly these web stacks are okay let's just jump to the, our main point how we can install so if you click on Windows Mac and Linux here and you will see this uh, download for Mac, Mac OS and uh, Linux but still there is a Windows option missing from here so for that you need to go and download the virtual machine and uh, virtual machine since just now my connection goes reset so once you go to the virtual machine you will see this OVA format okay and so basically you can go and download this dot vmdk format of this so right now when i'm creating this video tutorial that this is 8.320 whatever is the latest version is this and this is around 1 gb of file so you can just go and download this and once you download then we'll continue with our next thing so in my case i already downloaded and it's in my e drive and this is a zip file so i extracted and there inside there there are a lot of uh, vmdk file okay so this is the file the virtual vm file is basically is a os image that you need to run through a hypervisor software which is uh, 
there are some free software which is uh, uh, virtual v uh, uh, i mean i will show you here itself they mentioned that you need to use vmware player or virtual box so if you click here if you want to go okay so either download vmware player or virtual box and then you are able to run this virtual machine so in my system i have vmware so we can just go and uh, run this so there are many files so all you have to do is you need to uh, let me just maximize that so there are many files here but you need to execute uh, this file vmx file okay let's just run sorry and also this is a linux debian os so if you're not familiar with linux this is little bit uh, new for you but still you don't need to deal with linux so much linux stuff here so so now i, I double click here and it's auto load inside the uh, vmware workstation uh, in my uh, i mean uh, my vmware software <coughs> okay so now there is an option called play power on this machine and if you're using virtual box it there will be an option to run so just run that so once you run it will start a debian os inside the vm so let's just start the debian os and this is basically a very minimal uh, debian os without any user interface so there is only commands are there that's it so no uh, ui will be involved in this so once you start here you can see uh, let's just full screen that so debian application initialized and you could take some time credential will be there okay so let's just log in with debian uh, bitnami so the first login will be bitnami so b i t n a m i and the password is also bitnami okay so with bitnami and bitnami we just enter inside our system and if you want to change your password you can change and if you don't want you can just simply leave it so we can just change it later okay so with this you actually just started your virtual machine so now still there are few things which is left because we don't know in which ip address our application is going to be run okay so now we need to go through one more step let's just uh, close this and power off and run it again okay let's just select this option Debian so now the the uh, i mean the bitnami login password first time because whenever you uh, like run a bitnami vm images it will ask for that and then later again uh, bitnami and okay right so now let's just go back to the bitnami web and there if you come here you can see uh, username is bitnami and how to connect and uh, right so the next thing is we need to see this okay so now our default application login now we need to log in inside our application and also we need to see which ip address this is running so let's just see uh whether there is some problem in my connection let me just fix that and i'll come back 